voyage from Rimouski to Anticosti Island takes 22 hours. We've been overnight sailing to Septiel and now I want to go on land, pick up some supplies and get ready for the next step. I spent all night thinking about what would happen if my chain broke, so I bought a new one. Also bought some little towels, a shower on the ferry. Good morning. It's day three and we have arrived in Septil. So I'm going to take a walk around the town. Some things I might want to pick up. And I have to be back at 11.30. Septiel is a very large, flat, open city. Not a whole lot of trees. And uh, it was ironic. I was thinking of the uh, guy who created Not Just Bikes, the video channel, because here I am, North Shore of Quebec, Wilderness Supreme, and I get a strode. Ironically, I'm going to the bike shop just up here. But first, I had to get a tin. Walking back toward the harbor, which maybe you can see way down there and that Tim's along the way. That's not the same Tim's that I stopped at. I ended up doing an eight kilometer hike in the three hours that I had. It was good exercise and nice to get out and I'd never seen Septio before. But now, back on the boat. Still got another full day of sailing. Here we go. Sorry about the noise, but it's a ship. Get ready. We're just speaking from the roof. Following this announcement, emergency signal will be sounded. All guests and crew must proceed to them up the Thank you for your cooperation. This is important this matter. <laughs> sounds like. It's very loud. Well, I kind of cheated. I knew where my muster station was ahead of time. And we are mustard. And this is what it looks like from the seat. This is me, mustard. I'm the Pour les gens qui arrivent, prenez un siège qui est libre, s'il vous plaît. 
Une fois assis, on va rester dans son sel, on ne se déplace plus. Puis, euh, parce qu'on va vous compter, d'accord? One seated, please do not move, we will count you. Thank you, merci. Okay, so let me explain where I'm going exactly. So, this is Quebec City, and continue down here, that's Montreal, and over here, this is about where I started. So I drove up, up, up the coast, drove, and I camped here, right there, the first day, near Riviere de Loup. And then around here, the second day, near Ramuski, and then Ramuski, I caught the ferry. Last night, we went to Septil, and of course, you saw me in Septil. And now today, we're going to Port Minier, or as I heard it pronounced today, Port Minier. And this is Anticosti Island. And I'll be traveling by bicycle across the island. I'm not sure how far I'll get, probably to about there. I don't think I'll get further than that, but I think that's still pretty good. Now just by way of comparison, we come down, down, down. Here at the same scale is Prince Edward Island. So you can see Anticosti is, well, it's about one and a half times as large. It's pretty far north. It's subarctic. It's got no bears, yay. Uh, has no ticks, yay. But also no squirrels or chipmunks or raccoons, which disappoints me. Tons of deer and tons of birds. And of course, a lot of trees and wildlife. So that's where it is. And that's where my adventure will take place. Don't know if you can see it, but there it is out in front of the boat, Anticosti Island. And I forgot to mention before, it has a total population of about 250 people. That's it. This is the cafeteria. The cabin people eat in the nice dining room. This works for me. I don't have video of the landing itself. It was all pretty chaotic. Uh, we landed at the pier, and there I was with my fully loaded bike and a camera bag and a grocery bag. Now, the uh, spot there is actually about a kilometer away from the town itself. Right there, uh, the first X is where my plans began to fall apart. I met somebody on a mountain bike coming in. He looked at my bike and said, your tires will never hold up. I hope you have spares, etc., etc." And then a little bit further on, I noticed that my uh, front fork was loose and the front wheel seemed to be wobbling. And oh my, I wasn't really sure what to do. I was supposed to pick up an information package from the CPAT or from the town building, the info booth. But I didn't know that that's where I was supposed to get it. I thought it was off further along near Rue Wilcox or down there. So anyhow, it's getting dark. I'm sort of not sure where to go and had to decide at each corner which way to go. Maybe I should go up toward the right, to the left. Anyhow, I decided to go up to Rue des Meniers and then down that road, which was a nice paved road. Me with my super heavy load and wobbly front fork. And uh, by now it's getting kind of dark and I'm still not really sure where I'm going, but I continue along. That looks like a building there, but it isn't really a building. It's kind of like, well, it's a community center. 6.6 .6 there, that's the Auberge Port menu. I spent quite a bit of time there later, but I was looking for the Chateau, which I thought was another hotel way down in the lower left left-hand corner there near the campground. The campground, meanwhile, was kind of hard to find because the signs were virtually impossible to read. But anyhow, I pressed on down Rue des Meniers and then managed to <clears throat> work my way through, made a right turn there onto the gravel road. And then, and so I thought that, okay, I'll just pick the first campsite that I can find. Excellent. Found the campsite. And then what followed, as I searched for the hotel, 
is captured in the video. Okay, I'm here. And uh, I can tell you right away, it's stunningly gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Me, I'm lost. I'm, I found a campsite. It took me a while to find my light helmet. I'd forgotten where I put it. And now there's supposed to be an envelope for me by the side of the door at the auberge. I can't find the auberge. So I'm riding around on dirt roads here in the dark looking for it. I found this beautiful scene, so not a total loss. More later. Well, I totally don't have the right camera with me for this shot, but there's the, uh, there's the boat. I'm looking back at the boat docked at the harbor, and there's a full moon overhead. Oh, man. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Still looking for the auberge and trying to focus. There we go. Try and light my face and I'm blinding myself with the light. I figured it out. Uh, the old chateau isn't really a hotel. It's ruins of a hotel. The auberge is down the road and the letter was left for me at the tourism information center way back in town. I'll get it tomorrow. I'll set up camp tonight. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed things.